Miss Tennessee Nikki, y'all. Happy Saturday morning. It's Saturday morning, y'all. I'm up feeling refreshed and it's sunny outside, hot as usual. It's already hot. I'm feeling it in the house. But look, y'all, I hope y'all doing okay today. Today, oh, before we get to the, what we cooking today, because it's going to be, you know, a crock pot meal. So it's going to be later on. It's morning right now, but it's going to be later on when y'all see it. But look. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified so you can watch it the same day. And if you got time on your hands, go on and watch them commercials for your girl. Go on, what, what else you got to do? It's too hot outside to be outside lollygagging. So go on and watch the commercial. <laughs> but look, y'all, let's get off into this. We're making a Mississippi pot roast sliders, okay? Most of y'all probably already know how to make the Mississippi pot roast. But we're going to, you know, if you have some leftover Mississippi pot roast, I'm going to show you how to make some sliders with it. But since I don't have nothing left over, I'm going to go ahead and go from scratch. Just in case you don't know how to make a Mississippi pot roast, you could probably make a pot roast for Sunday if you want to. We're going to season it because we're going to sear it a little bit. This is some saison. We're going to put a little saison. I'm, a, I'm just going to use half on each side. You don't have to sear it if you don't want to. And this is uh, some complete seasoning right here. But the ya, we're going to put some complete seasoning on here. And we're going to put some black pepper. Oh, yeah, black pepper. <laughs> okay. Now, my hands are clean, okay? So, I'm going to go in without the glove. We're going to pat that in. Rub it, massage it. Okay, get that off in now. Then we're going to flip her over and do the same thing. She's about two pounds and some change. About two pounds and some change. Okay, boom. Then we're going to put do the same thing. That's the saison. This is the complete seasoning. And like I said, you don't have to do this part, but it kind of, it makes it better. Go ahead and put some more black pepper. I got my skillet heating up. You probably hear that thing clicking. It's early in the mountain. It's early in the mountain. Okay. Get that off in now. Then, let me see something. See if we can turn this. Uh oh, sorry for the noise. Sorry. Okay, you got this skillet heating. Give me one second. Stay in that skillet. I'll be right there. Gotta wrench my hands off. Okay. Now we're gonna put it in the hot skillet. I'll put it in here. And you hear that? You hear that sizzle? You hear that sizzle? Oh shoot, girl, sorry. <laughs> I try to flip it over on you. And we're gonna let it sizzle like that. Don't touch it. We want to get it good and seared on the bottom. We want it good and seared on the bottom, and then we're gonna flip her over. It'll probably take a couple of minutes for her to sear, and then I'm gonna be right back after she finished searing on that side. I'm gonna flip her and see if you see how she look on the side. Okay? I did. Mean, okay, y'all. I already seared this one side and flipped it. That's how she look. You see her? She cute already. She cute. So you want to go ahead and make it look like that a little bit. If you're going to sear. You don't, like I said, you don't have to do that part. You can just put it straight in the crock pot. But if you want to, you know, just uh, sear those juices and flavors or seasonings you just put in there, that'll do it right there. That'll do it. <laughs> look at them. But I'm going to be right back, y'all. Uh, I'm going to let the other side finish and I'm going to go ahead and pull the crock pot out, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I already put the uh, roast in the um in the crock pot, okay? Seared it on both sides. Now we're about to get to the Mississippi part, okay? If you don't know how to make a Mississippi pot roast, it's so easy. It's probably the easiest pot roast you ever made, girl. Okay, so we're going to get us what, and it don't have to go in this particular order. One pack of ranch seasoning. We're going to put that in now. One pack of ranch seasoning, Okay. Then we're gonna put one pack of gravy. I call this all uh, it's just gravy. <laughs> we gonna put that in all. Uh, 
Okay. Then we're going to put some pepperoncinis. I think this is like medium. Yeah. Pepperoncinis in there. I like to pour a little juice. A little juice on the side of the pepperoncini. Then we put the pepperoncinis in here. Just put that on the sides. It's not a big roast, you know, so. Like that. Okay. And then all you gotta do is put one stick of butter. Bam, one stick of butter. And you do. We're gonna put this thing on low for eight hours and let that thing cook throughout the day. You can go to work, come back, and she ready. That's all you gotta do, girl. That's all. I'll be back after eight hours. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm back, and I'm finished cooking this Mississippi pot roast in the, uh, I almost said the cafeteria, <laughs> in the crock pot, y'all. Here it go right here. Okay, now this is small, but when you get your pot, when you get your roast, make sure you get like three to four pounds, okay? Get three to four pounds on your roast. I'm going to put it in the description, too, the recipe. But this one is small, so just ignore it, okay? Let's play like... Just play like it's about three to four pounds, okay? <laughs> and I'm using uh, Hawaiian rolls. You can use slider buns if you want to. And I just cut this in half like this, okay? So um, what I'm going to do, this is how I make mine. I put some, uh, now you don't have to because I know it's going to be some people. I don't put mayonnaise or nothing like that in the oven. Okay, girl, just do it like you do it. But what I'm going to do... I'm going to put some mayonnaise on there. Okay, I'm going to put some little mayonnaise. Just a little tanch. And I taught y'all what tanch was. Okay. And also, like I said before, you only need about three to four pounds of roast. Get you uh, one pack of ranch dressing. Get you one pack of... Hold up. Raise the camera up right quick. Raise the camera up. Get you one pack of, oh, it's just gravy. <laughs> and then get you, uh, get you, uh, one stick of unsalted butter. Make sure you get unsalted butter, okay? Because you're going to get all your, you know, your salt and stuff from your gravy and stuff, okay? I'm just going to put this on your <laughs> Girl, you're so crazy. Okay. Now. Okay, I finished putting my little mayo on there that I like. And then I'm going to put the uh, the Mississippi pot roast on there. Just going to put that on there like this. Okay, and she cute. She cute. And this is easy. Like, you can even do this on a, a weekday when you got to go to work because if you get this cook uh, pretty quick because it's, like I said, it's kind of small. But you get your three to four pound roast, it's going to cook until, you know, it's time for you to get out of work. Or if you're doing it on the weekend, you got stuff to do. Just go and put this on in the crock pot in the morning before you leave. Because, you know, I just told you what you do with the ingredients. You, you heard me. Just one stick of unsalted butter, uh, ranch dressing, and oh, it's just gravy. You know, you just put that on there. And that's it. And close it up. Put it on low. Cook it for uh, eight hours. Okay. She cute. Trying to make sure we get all the little corners. Like that. And then, I'm going to put, I saved my little, my little peppers. I'm going to put them on now. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Just, you know. Throw them on there anyway. Girl, she got the stem in her. You want the whole thing. <laughs> Ooh, shoot. Okay. Gonna put that. Let's put that up here somewhere. Just put a couple on there. Okay. Boom. I said a couple. And I'm still putting them on there. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's, that's enough. And then we're going to put some provolone cheese on them. I'm going to put some provolone cheese on them. 
put some provolone cheese. Preheat your oven to uh, 350. We're going to put this in the oven. Let that cheese and stuff melt together. We're going to make us a little sauce to put on the buns. Okay. Boom. Look at them. Then you're going to put your top back on. Bam. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to make our sauce. I got a half a stick of butter in there. Let me take these off. Let me take my church gloves off. Okay. We got some, we got a half a stick of butter, melted butter. We're going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. We're going to put two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. That off for now. Sorry for the scrape, and I'm just trying to get it all out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play like it. Okay, then we're gonna get two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And whatever. If you wanna uh add some seasoning to it, you can, but this all I'm gonna put in mine. Put that together. I'm just trying to get all that Dijon. Okay. Mix her together. Really good. Okay. And let's go ahead and put it on the bun. Now we're going to go ahead and just put it on here. Get it off in there. Sorry, I'm splashing it. It didn't get on y'all, did it? It didn't get on the camera. It didn't get on y'all. Sorry if it did. My bad. I messed up y'all little outfit. Okay. Just put it on there like that. And it, what this is going to do is going to give it that sweet, salty effect, you know? That sweet, salty. When you bite off in there, you confused because you don't know if it's sweet or salty. That's what it's going to give you. <laughs> That's what it's going to give you. Just get happy with it. You know, put it on a little sass and stuff. Okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this up with some aluminum foil. Put it in the oven for about... About 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take it off. Take the aluminum foil off. And I'll probably put it in there for about 6-7 minutes. Okay? To the top get kind of good and brown. But I'm going to be back. I'm going to show you how she looked plated. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. And I'm finished with this Mississippi Pot Roast Sliders, y'all. Look out. I ain't going to hold you. Look at her. Ain't she cute? Ain't she cute, y'all? She cute. Get close up on that thing, y'all. Get close up on her. She cute. Got the little peppers in there with the provolone cheese. <laughs> y'all, she is cute. Y'all, I ain't gonna hold you on this Saturday, y'all. I really, really appreciate y'all tuning in with me, y'all. This was a quick little uh, crock pot meal for you for a weekday or weekend, don't matter. But I really appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoy y'all weekend and stay safe out there. I love you, and I'm gonna see you again next time. Bye-bye.